these books. Everybody knows these books. If you Google architecture books, this is the stuff that pops up. Francis D.K. Ching has published around 20-ish books around the fundamentals of architecture. But that's what makes it confusing because there's no clear sequence as to how you should read the books, like in which order you should read the books. And architecture itself is not a linear progression. So you can start with theory first and then go into the de technical and detail aspects. Or you could do the reverse and that would actually also work. So today I'm just going to walk you guys through the seven books I chose. And these seven books actually encompass basically everything. Um, and if we start off really general and then go into the specifics, but within these seven books, you should be able to just understand in a very broad scope, all of architecture. So let's dive in. Wait, hold up, hold up. Hi. Um, before you guys continue to watch the video, I actually, during post-production, like I'm editing the video right now, I've been editing it for the past like three hours, but I noticed how bad the audio is. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna apologize for the bad audio. Please bear with it. Um, and yeah, continue watching the video. Before we get into the actual contents of the books, pour yourself a cup of tea and throw away your Kindle. Do not buy these books on Kindle. The type and the text in these books used through all of these books are way too narrow and way too small for you to read on a kindle there are also lots of really intricate drawings and diagrams that need to be appreciated for their detail and you really cannot see it properly on a small screen so i recommend you guys get it on your laptops in pdf format because one you can zoom in however much you want. Two, you can always save your and bookmark your pages digitally. Three, you can highlight things. Four, control F. And five, it just makes carrying around so much easier. I don't know who actually wants to carry around all of these big books. So even though I recommend you guys to get the books online, make sure you still do write notes on pieces of paper. It just helps so much better memory retention do whatever you need to do, underline, circle, highlight, whatever, but just make sure you write your notes down on paper. The way today's video is going to be formatted is based off of Francis's Introduction to Architecture book. This book is actually basically a summary or a very brief introduction to the four other books that we're going to touch upon today, which is Design Drawing, Building Structures, Building Construction, and Architectural Graphics. Now, there are two other books I'm going to throw into the fray here, but they are quite specialized in standalone books. One is Green Building Illustrated, and the other is the Visual Dictionary of Architecture. With the dictionary, you use it like you would use any other dictionary, so it's purely a reference book, unless you're the type to read through dictionaries. Green Building Illustrated is super specific, and it goes into what is more popularized now when we're always designing to be sustainable and we're designing green buildings. Within this book, we have 15 chapters and you can tell from the table of contents the way things are organized and you can just refer to this as to what other books you should branch out to. So read through chapters one to three. Um, that really starts you off strong on the theories and just a quick introduction behind the history of architecture is really informative, but also really concise. So it's great. One, chapters one to three, definitely go read. And you can notice here chapters four, five, and six is form, space, order. So you can read these chapters or you can just skip them and go read the book, Architecture, Form, Space, and Order instead. Chapter seven, is the elements of architecture and honestly once you read the first two pages jump right in and go read the building construction book chapter eight can totally be skipped you don't even need to read the couple pages chapter eight go read design drawing instead chapter nine is a 
great and really good introduction to basic materiality. So definitely go read all of chapter 9 within this book. Chapter 10, you can definitely go read building construction for that. Chapter 11 to 12 can be replaced with building structures. And chapter 13, definitely read the first eight pages, but then jump over to either architectural graphics or design drawing. When it comes to architectural graphics and design drawing, technically, you only need one, which is architectural graphics. If we look at the table of contents, you can see that they're both extremely similar. So why am I putting design drawing on the list? Well, not everyone who's interested in architecture has an arts background. So if you are not super familiar with still life drawings or just interpreting what you see visually onto a piece of paper, then definitely go read design drawing first and get your fundamentals down before you attempt any architectural drawings because Design drawing also works you through the method of thinking behind things such as perspective and different angles and scale and how to interpret light and shadow, etc. Once you have your fundamental knowledge down, you can totally just breeze through architectural graphics. It starts you off on manual analog drawing. A lot of people just start on digital drafting nowadays, but everything in this book applies to any type of drafting. So all the knowledge here applies to both if you were to draw by hand or if you were to draft on a computer. It walks you through everything. And honestly, I should have read this book before I started school because I did not understand what a section was for the longest time. Okay, back to the introduction to architecture book. Chapters 14 and 15 are really interesting if you want to explore the other possibilities in architecture. So you can go through interior design and you can also go and learn about urbanism. So this is a great book. It just starts you off on the basics. So if you're interested in that stuff, go ahead and read through. Building structures and building construction are two sides of the same coin. They are different. However, you can't understand one without learning about the other. So they both go into the technical details now about the construction process as well as structural integrity as a whole. This stuff is what you should be learning in your construction courses and you have to understand this in order to properly design a building because designs are always based off of the technical capabilities of materials. The last two books that I mentioned, Green Building Illustrated and A Visual Dictionary of Architecture, those are must-have books. So if you can get your hands on them, get your hands on them, borrow them from your library, whatever. The concepts in green building is extremely important, especially designing in the modern day now, where we are always designing to be as sustainable as possible. And then you can never go wrong with having a dictionary around. So visual dictionary of architecture is also extremely important and can help you understand a lot of the different jargon and terms used in architecture. So there you have it, my recommendations to the books that you should start off reading if you want to learn more about architecture. I really, really, really regret not reading these books before starting school or even during school. Like it would have helped me out so much in understanding what I was learning and just helped me as a reference material to go back and really understand what was being taught in the lectures. I actually hate reading books. I literally have to force myself to sit down if I want to read a book. Like it's extremely miserable. I don't know how people do it. I don't know how people sit down and read books. Like to me, that's such a, whoa, you guys, coolest people ever. I gotta have some action going on. I need diagrams. I need pictures. I gotta bam, bam, pow, pow. So these books, are amazing. I thought it was a miracle I was able to sit down and read through all seven of them without feeling like absolute trash. So, full on recommend. 10 out of 10, I guess, for that. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. Catch you guys in the next one.